Hello students, welcome back. I am Arjit sir. Today in our organic name reaction mechanism portion, we are going to study about Wittig reaction. Now students, what is Wittig reaction? Wittig reaction actually uh, when alkyl halide triphenyl phosphine and phenyl lithium uh, reacts to form methylene triphenyl phosphorin, it is a, a intermediate compound and then this methyl triphenyl phosphorin reacts with carbonyl compounds to form alkene and triphenyl oxide. Now I am going to show you the reaction. This is say for example, I am taking an example as uh, acetaldehyde. Okay, Acetaldehyde in presence of CH3Br methyl bromide and this is our triphenyl phosphine and phenyl lithium they produces the compound this alkene and ph3p double bond o the main reaction is that this double bond doesn't hampered over here instead of this c double bond o there will be double bond ch2 okay students this is the main course of this Fittig reaction. Okay, now I am going to show you the mechanism portion. Now, in the first part of the, this mechanism portion, this triphenyl phosphine attacks the CH3Br. This is a nucleophilic reaction, and bromine bromide gets out of this system. It forms. this compound okay now in the next step c6 h5 lithium it actually takes this hydrogen to form this anion okay now this carbon ion is formed already okay now see the carbon ion formation okay now in the next step, this is actually the first two steps I have already discussed. Now in the next step, you can see this is the carbon ion. And this is our say for example acetaldehyde. Okay. Now this carbon ion attacks in this acetaldehyde carbon and this bond opens up. Okay. Now see the next step. The very interesting reaction students let's see the next step a new bond has already formed over here you can see these are the phenyl groups and this is our oxygen and this is the main bond now here actually this oxygen actually reacts with phosphine because this was already in plus position i forgot to give it to you this minus and plus already attacked okay to form this uh, cyclic situation and this situation is the intermediate position and this intermediate situation has been resolved like this see the mechanism over here this bond actually breaks over here and this bond again forms a double bond with carbon to form the desired product of alkene okay students this is our alkene and this is our triphenyl phosphine oxide okay students so this is the mechanism how actually we can conclude the Wittig reaction over here okay students so uh, you should have understand this point i am telling you again this is the first step of the reaction this is the second step the formation of the carbon ion and then carbon ion attacks in this carbon to form this o minus it will be attached with the p plus then forming this intermediate uh, triphenyl phosphorin type of compound okay and then it will be the formation of it will resolve into formation of this propene and 
triphenyl phosphine oxide. Okay, I'm going to give you some of the more examples. Now, cyclohexanone in presence of methyl bromide and uh, PH3P and C6H5Li will form this compound. Okay, you can see double bond is intact and CH2 will come in place of oxygen. And this is the main thing of this reaction. Okay, students. So, hope you understand this video. And if you have got any kind of problem, you can ask me in the comment boxes. I will surely give you the answers. Okay, students. So, this is up to this point. This is our complete VD reaction with the mechanism. Okay, students. Have a nice day and goodbye.